Today, I am going to discuss foods that can help hair regrow naturally. This video is not about taking supplements, it's about foods that are part of our daily diet. A few days ago, an interesting study came across my eyes and I felt that I should share this information with you. A medical journal in which I read something that I had never heard before. An amino acid that is very rare. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein and this specific one is missing in people experiencing hair loss. I believe many of you know that hair are made from protein, but will only eating protein bring back the lost hair? This is what it means, but this approach does not work for every person. The paper that has been published mentioned the same thing. A small portion of the protein was found missing in 90% of people suffering from hair loss. When they noted the dietary deficiencies in this group of people, it was the amino acid histidine. However, this does not mean you should start taking histidine supplement immediately. It is very important to know why there is deficiency of it in our body. Because this amino acid is not common as the body doesn't produce it naturally and it is found in very few foods. Moreover, histidine serves as a precursor to histamine which means histamine is made from histidine and this molecule is part of the body's defense system. Histamine plays a role in allergic reactions, inflammations and the healing process. A deficiency of histidine causes anemia. Red blood cells decrease in the body because we also need this amino acid to make red blood cells. If someone has eczema or skin inflammation, it helps heal the skin. However, if histidine is taken in excessive amount, it can also cause premature ejaculation and other similar problems. Additionally, it is directly involved making the protein keratin in hairs. This amino acid strengthens the hair, maintains scalp hydration and prevents water scarcity, crucial for healthy hairs. Along with this, it also regulates zinc and copper level in the body, improving their absorption by bonding with them. Increases bioavailability, therefore hair requires a significant amount of this amino acid. Suppose if someone is on certain type of medication or undergoing strong antibiotic treatment or frequently consuming alcohol or smoking. In in that case, the level of this amino acid in their body may decrease over time. The interesting part of this discussion is that the body can only use histidine properly when its cofactors such as B6, folate, zinc and copper are present in the body. Cofactors are essential chemical molecules that enable proteins to function effectively in the body. For example, B6 is easily found in many foods. Folate is another important cofactor available from dark green leafy vegetables. However, if you only eat meat and avoid vegetables, for those individuals, the highest folate content is found in beef liver, chicken liver and goat meat. Additionally, if you don't consume an adequate amount of green leafy vegetable in your daily diet, you may experience folate deficiency. After that, certain drugs block folate leading to DNA damage in cells. Folate is crucial for protecting the DNA in mitochondria. Now let's talk about food. You can add three key items to your diet. Number one is organ meat, especially liver. If you are eating 50 to 60 grams daily, it is enough. Some people believe that organ meats contain high level of saturated fats and are bad for health. That is not true. Organ meats actually contain very little fat. Second, ensure you get enough protein, especially from the sources like beef, chicken, fish and eggs. Protein is essential for healthy hairs. Lastly, your body needs copper and zinc, which you can get from seafood, cashew, almonds, seeds and nuts. Yogurt and cheese are also rich in zinc. I will make a separate detailed video on folate. If you are benefiting from my videos, please share them with others and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos about your health. According to the YouTube's guidelines, videos that receive more likes or share are also promoted by YouTube itself. So take better care of yourself. I will see you in the next video.